Good morning. Uh, it's, it's definitely a, a distinct honor to be here this morning. And uh, I think to discuss uh, a timely topic that's been really in the news probably for the last month especially, and I've had many of my patients asking about these, uh, the dilemmas that we face today. So really we'll, we'll cover prostate cancer overall, but really focus on a few key things that have been debated in the, uh, in the news recently. Today we'll talk about really what prostate cancer is, what the chance of a man getting it is, and how to find it, treat it, prevent it, and then also who we should treat and who we should not treat. And so this is really kind of for men and also for their, their uh, significant others, um, what they should know about their health. So the prostate's kind of an interesting organ. It's usually about walnut-shaped. It's not very large. It sits below the bladder and connects to the urethra. It's really, a, you know, by the time you're um, past the reproductive age, it's somewhat vestigial. However, its function is really believed to be more during the uh, reproductive years, uh, for um, definitely for reproduction. After that, the function is really not much, or so we think. So it's there, and it does cause some problems as men age, either with benign issues where they have trouble urinating, and obviously with prostate cancer, which is uh, the topic of uh, much debate recently. Prostate cancer is the most commonly diagnosed solid organ cancer in men. It accounts for about 240, 250,000 diagnoses just in the United States every year. And it's also the second leading cause of death in men, with about 34,000 uh, 34, deaths in the United States. So as you can see, it definitely has a significant impact on men in general and also on health care in the United States. Prostate cancer has really gone through uh, a continuum in terms of in the 80s and 70s, most of the patients that we saw were, were diagnosed late. They were not curable. There was no real screening method. People used to get a digital rectal exam. Sometimes it was found that way. Most of the time it was found when they were dying of bone cancer or something that was metastatic. So in, prior in the 80s and 70s, the chance of dying from prostate cancer was significant. However, as the 1990s came around, PSA-based screening has really taken hold. And so more and more men now are being screened for prostate cancer. And we've seen the death rates go down. So these days, about 80% of all cancers found in men are clinically confined. And why that's important is those are treatable and curable. And this is what we see. The red line's really the key. The PSA-based screening, the treatments, are starting to have an impact. The reason it's taken a little bit of a delay is most men don't die of prostate cancer in the first 10 years. It takes many years. But within that time period, they can become incurable. So you would anticipate this curve continues to go down because PSA screening really is somewhat recent. And the real effect of it will be seen 20 plus years down as young men with prostate cancer who are cured don't die anymore from the disease. So you're going to see this continue to improve. Why is this all important? It's because there's a large national debate on whether we should screen men at all for prostate cancer. As you can see, there's a pretty wide variation around the world. The red areas are really the danger areas. Those are areas in the world where prostate cancer is more prevalent. Uh, it's diagnosed. Men are more likely to die from it. And obviously, the yellow areas are somewhat lower in incidence. The blue and yellow are also areas where patients are not screened. And so the, the thought is maybe that the blue and yellow areas are in areas where prostate cancer screening just doesn't take place and so these patients aren't even being diagnosed. Whereas the red, PSA screening, healthcare, education is much more evolved, and therefore we truly know how much prostate cancer there is. And so I think it's somewhat inaccurate. I think the red areas where we're looking for prostate cancer, we're treating it in more industrialized nations, they have stronger healthcare systems. The other ones do not. There are many risk factors for prostate cancer. There are no absolute risk factors. Probably older age is the most common thing. Men over the age of 65. However, I can tell you, I personally have taken care of men in their 30s. My youngest patient is 31 years old. 
he was diagnosed by mistake. His primary care was doing a routine physical and they circled his PSA by mistake. It was drawn with his other blood work. The health insurance company called him and said, we can't pay for your PSA because you're only 31 years old. You're not supposed to have it. He told them, I have prostate cancer though. So he was diagnosed by mistake at 31 years of age. So it tells you our screening methods, even though they're considered rigorous, are still obviously inadequate for all.